everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to my plans and inspiration vlog for Selfless Sew April 23. I have to excuse the rain, it's absolutely tipping it down in here. I will try and drown it out but if not please accept my apologies. So Selfless Sew April 23 is a challenge that was launched by myself and Crystal last year and the premise of the challenge is to sew a selfless make for a friend, family, charity, pet, anybody um, that would willingly receive the gift. Now this for me last year, before I've shared this before, before I did this challenge I didn't really sew for anybody else and it really opened my eyes to making garments for other people and how rewarding that can be and I absolutely love doing that now. We've got five different categories, there's men's wear, ladies wear, children's wear nought to two and children's wear two years plus and then pets and accessories. So when you, when you enter this challenge, you will need to let us know what category you are entering because it's not always obvious. All you have to do is on the 30th of April only, not between now and then, post your make under the Southless Sew April 23 hashtag so we can see all of the entries. And if you want to post progress shots in the meantime, you can post them on the Southless Sew April 23 whip um, where we will be able to see how you're getting on with your makes. When you do post your photos on Instagram, please, please, please tag myself at Save for Serenity, Crystal at my social thread, and Claire at Stitch Hen Sew into the post, and also say whereabouts in the world you live, because that will help us, if you are a winner, allocate the right prize for you. So there'll be a first, second, and third prize for each category, and then out of the remaining prizes, we will do pick out of a hat, and it will be totally random. Now, we will be judging these on not the best skill set. It will be basically what we think is the star make, and that can be for lots of reasons. It might be a beginner sewist that's done something really, really amazing, a really unique make, um, or something with a really special story behind it. It could just be anything. Um, so, yeah, there is no kind of... It's only if it's a really, really... Um, professional looking make that's not what this is about now we have over 50 sponsors i cannot believe how generous the sponsors have been and i think we've got three or four prizes at 50 dollars slash pounds each so that's a really great prize um if you want to have more information about every single sponsor and what exactly they're offering and what their company does we have three vlogs where we all talk about the sponsors we all split this we split the sponsors into three groups and we all took a group of those each and then we have vlogs or it's your pre-launch vlogs which I'll link in the notes below and I think at last count we had about 60 odd prizes so some of those wonderful sponsors are offering more than one prize which is fantastic as well I'll put up some screenshots now which show you who those sponsors are and um, in case you don't want to watch those pre-launch vlogs but yeah there's some well-known makes there but there's also some names that you might not be as familiar with which we're all about supporting small businesses here independent businesses so please check them out I'd like to tell you about two of our sponsors who have very generously not only chosen to sponsor the challenge but are also giving some extra incentives um, if you order some items through them. So the first one I want to tell you about is All Year Textiles. They are a fabric company which I absolutely love. I purchased this most beautiful poppy fabric from them and made a beautiful peppermint top and love it. And they have some really lovely fabrics and they are offering 10% off any orders using the code selfless so April 23. And you also get a free little sewing gift as well. So like some scissors or little haberdashery gifts. That's really, really lovely. And then also Fabuloso, which I know you're all familiar with, they are, if you place an order for the challenge, Fabuloso are also offering 50% off their unprinted tracing paper, which is normally £1.50 for an A0 sheet, but they're going to give it you for 75 pence per sheet, and that selfless trace code that you need to use. So thank you so much to those sponsors as well. So on to my plans and inspiration. Now, last year I gave myself so much to do that I literally didn't know if I was coming or going. So I've tried to do, think about five makes this, this time that is gonna mean that I'm not gonna get too stressed out. So I've come up with five. And the first one that I want to do is for my lovely mum. So my mum's 70 this year and I we're all going out for a lovely meal and I want, obviously I'll buy her, some, buy her some nice gifts as well but I also want to make her something that she can um, treasure. So I have purchased this fabric. If you've watched my um, Creative Craft Show fabric haul you will know I purchased this from my mum and it's this lovely B viscose fur jersey from Little Legs fabric. And I am going to make my mum the Mandy boat tea in this. I think it'd be really, really lovely. Very simple to do. And I've got plenty of fabric to do that. I think I've got a metre and a half. So I should be able to make her a lovely t-shirt out of that. 
So that is my first plan. This fabric is still in stock um, on Little Legs Fabric. So if you want to get some bee fabric, you can go over to their website now. And they are also sponsoring our challenge. So thank you, Little Legs, for sponsoring us. The next item is some fabric that's also from Little Legs, Legs Fabric. And it's this, again, got it from the Creative Craft Show. It's this lovely neon um, kind of graffiti-esque um, positive affirmations fabric which is this cute neon colour. Now I want to make Alice a t-shirt in this and um, also some black leggings so I haven't got any black jersey, I've got some black viscose jersey in my stash that I'll dig out but I'm going to make her a little outfit which is basically this and some little black leggings um, because she hasn't actually got any black leggings and sometimes they're good to have to go as a um, neutral with other things. So yeah. Sorry about that, my battery ran out so I had to change the camera angle. I'm going to do the Rowan T by Masusa again because I have that pattern cut out and I know it's a nice little fit and great for the summer. So that's what I'm going to be doing for her. The next is going to be for my friend Debbie. Um, it's her birthday, she's 40 this year, she's a very very close friend and I'm going to make her a dressing robe and I'm going to go for the Hayley robe by Tammy Handmade and I think I'm going to go for it in a blue silky satin viscose. I know that um, as I'm filming this, Rainbow Fabrics are going to be releasing about 30 different colours of viscose satins. So I think I'm going to get myself two metres of a navy viscose satin for her and make her a robe. And um, it's going to very much look like the Tammy Handmade, which I'll just put in the corner so you can see what I mean. Um, and we're going to London for a weekend away. So I thought that would be a really nice gift to give her. I might personalise it, um, might put some embroidery on it. I don't know. That's what I need to think about. So that's going to be a gift for her as a really nice luxurious robe. The other thing, so that's number three. The next thing that I want to do is a matching makeup bag and face wipe. So I've got these fat quarters that I got in one of my So Haley Jane boxes. So I'm thinking using these coordinating blues and navies. If I make her a little makeup bag, um, and then maybe an eye mask and um you know just a bit of self pump like self care pampering kind of thing so yeah and then the face wipes that you see the disposed the reusable face wipes so yeah that's what i'm going to use those for and i really need to use my fat quarters up so where i can do that i really need to moving on to my final plan this is a little bit different for me but i want to make alice a little moses basket carry cot for her babies now alice loves her babies they are the toy that she plays with the most she has so many different ones they have the most randomest names she's got brian and betty who are twins bob don't know where that came from and alex they're her babies that's what she calls them and alex is sometimes called big baby because he's the biggest but yeah she's very cute with them so in the last um I think it was um, Simply Sewing Magazine. There was this little brochure called Sewing for Kids. And I am going to make this Moses basket here. And it's really, really cute. And it's got a little pillow and it's got a little blanket. And it takes half a metre, oh, 50 times 100 for the outer, 50 times 100 for the lining. Um, so it's just quilting cotton. So I'm hoping I can use the fat quarters and piece them together to make kind of a patchwork-esque um, effect. So yeah, I'm going to make that for her and I might even make two if it's not that difficult. So she's got one for each twin because Betty and Brian will fight if they don't have the same. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to make for her too. So they are my plans and gifts. Now, my husband has asked me to make him a pair of trousers, but I'm a bit scared about it. I didn't want to commit to it necessarily as a definite selfless so April plan, um, but I will try and get that done. Yeah, it might be that I start that process this month. Now he wants a pair of trousers that are like chinos basically. So I need to find a pattern. He knows what fabrics he wants and from what he's described and the trousers that he's got that he's shown me the fabric that he likes, it feels to me like um, a brushed cotton twill and um, like um, a chino um, fabric. So um, that's what I need to find and I need to get some samples. So I'm not, that's why I'm um, reluctant to have that as a definite um, make for this selfless April, but it might be something that I start to plan as we go through the month of April. So if you've got any ideas for any male chino trouser slash pants patterns, let me know so I can start to have a look at them. Um, and yeah, then I can um, see where I get to with it. 
so not major grand plans for me let me know what you're planning on um making for selfless so april i'd love to love to hear your plans and i can't wait to see everybody posting on their selfless so april work in progress this is a great great challenge please get involved and just spread the love so tomorrow so tomorrow's vlogger is the wonderful claire from stitch hem so who will be talking to you about all of her plans now we will create a playlist that will have all of called selfless so april which you can follow the link to and then all of everybody's um vlogs throughout the month will be on there we have a vlogger every single day at least one sometimes two every single day talking to you about what their plans and inspirations are for selfless so april so that's all from me for now i can't wait to see what you make in this challenge and i'll see you all soon happy sewing Bye.